Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to talk about the Rough Rider RR110. Now this is a peanut knife, or known as a peanut patterned knife, and that's probably because it is about the size of a peanut. Now real quick, while it's closed, let me get a few knives in here that we can compare it to. So here is a CRKT Pilar 3, and then here is a Rough Rider large stockman and as you can see it is a small knife let's compare it once again to another small knife and that is the kershaw shard or not shard ember and um, this thing really does match up pretty well with that kershaw the kershaw here is about the same size and it is about the same sized uh, same size opened so if you have a Kershaw ember, you can expect to get about that much blade out of the peanut. So why would I buy a knife like this? Well, I actually bought this knife primarily to wear with slacks or with shorts that I don't really want to have a knife that's going to weigh me down and going to say, oh, he has a pocket knife. I really was looking for a knife that would be small, inconspicuous, and something that would be a little easier to carry in the bottom of my pocket. Now, I have been surprised by this knife. This knife has taken on a few jobs that I um, kind of tested it with, but really I wanted to just see what it could do, and it did just fine. I used this to cut some steak, maybe even cut some ribs, um, peel some onions, uh, peel some apples. This thing does an amazing job with your onions. You can uh, you could do a lot of stuff with this little small blade in the kitchen. I've been very surprised and it makes a great utility blade at that. This here, great little steak knife and also a wonderful piercer. Really takes care of boxes and really helps you open up those packages when you really need to get them open quickly. And so for me, I just wanted to have a small knife that really didn't take up a lot of room. And happily, um, it came to be a knife that had matching scales on each side. Sometimes these scales can be drastically different colors. And on my piece here, both of those scales match up pretty darn good. Look great on this wood backdrop here. And it's just a wonderful knife. And to be honest, the fit and finish on this one is really good too. I mean, I'm talking about a knife that I believe is under $9. Um, last time I checked, it may be a little more than that. Um, don't quote me on it. But you can get these regularly at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And these are just so, so nice. I don't know why I got rid of my old peanuts. Um, I used to have a red one and I had a yellow Durlin one. And I just didn't carry it enough to justify keeping it. But for practically pennies, why not have one in the collection? So that is my review of the Rough Rider RR110. And if you have one of these little peanut knives from Rough Rider or even Case or any other brand, let me know how you like it and where you usually carry that knife. So till the next video, I will talk to you later. And remember, have a great day or night wherever you may be. Bye-bye.